Good morning. I hope that you can hear me. I think so. Uh, so I would like to talk a little bit about the research that we've been doing the last three years. Um, something which all HR would be interested in. I come from actually a technical background, right? And most of you HR are now interested in digitizing, but I'm more interested in the human being and that's where our research has been going on. So let me start. And so if you look at HR, you have a number of HR metrics, right? I mean, you can have engagement, you have uh, productivity, um, you can also have something like how many people smile, what percentage of like people are smiling, Any, anything, right? I mean, you can take any HR metric. And typically, if you uh, take your population, your employees, and uh, plot it out, most probably you'll get a bell curve, right? And I'm not talking about uh, uh, grading of employees. That's not my uh, forte. I'm talking about just any HR metric, right? Um, this is what you're going to typically get. So our mission is to move this bell curve to the right in respect of any HR metric that you can think of. Does that sound interesting? Right? Do you think that's difficult? Right? Do you think that's difficult? That's what all, all you guys have been trying, right? Uh, to improve your workforce, to get people to be better. But the wrinkle that I'm suggesting is that it should be independent of the metric itself. And if you want that to be independent of the metric, then you have to start thinking about more fundamental things, right? What is the commonality of any of these HR metrics that you're talking about? And what is the common thing? It's of course naturally the human being, right? And that's where we started our research. If you look at a human being, we have a number of personality traits, right? I and mean, that's what we are. That's the difference between two individuals, right? Um, the difference in traits, and we accept the differences, and that's what uh, being a human being means, appreciate those differences. However, if you take, let's take one trait, empathy, which everybody is interested in, uh, most of us would be in the middle in terms of empathy, right? Some of us would be in the low spectrum, and some of us would be in the high end spectrum. And that's what we call as an unbalanced trait. Why is that important? An unbalanced trait creates hindrances in our performance in any of the HR metrics that people are interested in. It makes it difficult for us to achieve our personal and professional goals as well as the organization goals. Right? And empathy is not just one trait. I mean, there's 25 different traits that you can think of, right? And because there's so many traits, and because we're human beings, what we found through our research is that every individual has at least one unbalanced trait. And that's interesting. So, if we can balance this unbalanced trait, then we can achieve not the full mission that we were talking about, but part of the mission in terms of moving the bell curve to the right and condensing. And that's, that's really what all our research was all about. Okay. So let me 